In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to talk about how you use the user coordinate system. Uh, the user coordinate system, or UCS, is really important in 3D modeling, especially when you get into um, more advanced areas. So um, if we're looking for that on the ribbon, that's going to be on the home tab, basically in the center, there's a section called coordinates. and um, this is an area that we'll be checking out. We can also just type in UCS to make some changes, and that's the way I tend to work, um, but really it's up to you. So in order to go through the user coordinate system easily, what I'm going to do is just draw a simple um, box that we can take a look at. So I'm going to go to my top view, use a polyline, and just draw a 36 inch by 36 inch square and then I'm going to go over to my southwest isometric view and just extrude that up maybe um, oh six feet so we just have a tall box okay so if I take my orbit tool you see I just have something that looks about like that okay so um, as you work in AutoCAD in 3D, you just need to keep a few things in mind. Most importantly, when you're drawing in any orthographic view, such as top, bottom, left, right, like I have over here on the left, I have a top view, you're always drawing on the X, Y plane. So I have the X axis, the Y axis. That's where I do all of my drawing. So even if I look in my three-dimensional uh, southwest isometric view, you'll see that on the ground is where we drew the square. That's the X, Y plane. And then what happens is you extrude up the Z axis. Okay. So as we bring things into 3D, they go up the z-axis. So, you know, if I did something really simple, I just drew a circle, you'll see that when I come over here, it wants to lay flat on the ground. And then when I grab my extrude tool and bring that up, it's coming up the z-axis. Now, if I wanted to rotate an object, you'll see that it also rotates around the z-axis. So if I grab my rotate tool, I'll select this rectangle, I'll pick a base point. Now it's a little harder to see if I have ortho on, so I'm just going to turn that off quick. But when I look in either view, you see as it spins around, I am spinning around the Z axis. Okay, so when you draw, you always draw on the XY plane and you extrude up and rotate around the Z axis. So that's really important. I'm just going to hit escape there. I'm going to turn ortho back on. Okay, so, um, you know, if you're always drawing flat on the ground and you're always extruding up or down, you can just leave it as is. But, you know, if I have some object that I want to start, you know, having things come off the sides or, you know, that type of thing, um, this can get very tricky. Now, can you draw everything and then rotate it and move it? Yes, but you don't actually have to do that. If I wanted to draw on this box on one of the faces, it's actually fairly simple. Now, the first way you might go about doing that is just switching the UCS in terms of flipping the X, Y, or Z axis. We can find that in the coordinates panel up here on the left side of it. In the middle, there are three buttons for X, Y, and Z. So if I grab X, for example, it will rotate the UCS about the x-axis. So if I hit that, watch down here in this view what happens to the coordinate. So I'm going to hit x. So it flipped it about the x-axis. So if I move my mouse, you'll see that the x isn't moving, but the, the y and the z are. Okay, So that's an option as well as Y, so then I can keep Y stationary, or I could do Z, so you have those three options. Now let's just say I keep this one, okay, so you notice that I have the X, Y flipped up, okay? So X, Y is no longer laying on the ground. What's going to happen? Well, this time if I go to grab a circle, click and draw, 
that circle is no longer laying on the ground. It is standing straight up. So now it's like you're writing on a wall, for example. So now here is my circle. So now if I want to extrude that, if I click that circle, hit enter, now I'm coming out this way. So I am extruding along that z-axis just like I was before, but because we flipped it up, it's a completely different experience. Okay, so I might just shade that a little bit differently so we can see it. So this box was drawn in the world view where we're on the ground going up, and this was with the XY axis flipped up vertically, and now you can actually see it here as well. So that makes a very significant difference in terms of how you're working. Once that's up, it's going to stay there until I change it in one way or another. So I'm just going to delete these. And what we can do is just come back up and say that we would like to go back to the world view. So I'm just going to come up to the coordinates panel and click world. And notice when you do that, that falls back onto the ground like we would expect. Okay. Now, if I actually wanted to draw on this object, there's an easier way to go about doing that than um, just flipping those coordinates around. What I can actually do is come up and I can select a few different things. I can actually align with a view that I'm in, an object, but I can also go right to the face. So that's what I like to do. I click face and then when I get to a face that I'm interested in, you'll see how it flips around and I always want to keep an eye on where that XY is. So I'm going to click this face of my object, hit enter to accept it, and now if I go to draw my circle for example, I might just hover over that midpoint with my object snap tracking on, draw a shape, now if I extrude, we can see in both views that that cylinder that I just created is perfectly aligned with this face coming out. So if I come over here, change it to conceptual, and orbit around, it's really just that easy. So that is changing the UCS to align with the face of an object. I'm just going to change my view back. And Currently, we're accessing all of these uh, tools from the coordinates panel. I can bring that back to a world view if I'm done with that. Um, but you also do have the option of typing in UCS, enter, and you'll see that that brings up all of those uh, options down in the command line. And I encourage you to maybe go about doing it that way. It can be a little bit faster once it's something you do a lot. And you'll see that you can change it to face, a named view if you've chosen to save one, an object, your previous UCS, your view, XYZ, and so on. And this is a really quick way as well, I just hit escape there, if you want to get back to a world view, type in UCS, enter, and your world view will come back. So it depends how you like to work, but if you aren't on the home tab or if you don't have the UCS toolbar available, um, that can be a lot quicker. So the important thing to remember is that you're always drawing on the XY plane and extruding up or rotating about the z-axis. If you can just keep that in mind, uh, working in 3D is going to be uh, pretty simple.